Hello and welcome. It is Kristen from Life of Crafting. I am kind of tired of the ones I was doing before that were birthday and I want to try um, offering some card kits out there and this is a really, really old paper pack from Stamping Up. So I got it at a yard sale for three bucks and it was a haiku from Stamping Up. Um, you can tell from the, uh, the printing on this, this is so, so old. If I had to guess, this is probably early to mid 2000s, like maybe 2005, 2006, could be wrong. Um, I had to do a Google search to tell me what the colors were. And it is more mustard, old olive, tangerine tango, and um, I said whisper white, which I guess. Um, this has been previously cut up, as you can see. Um, it's got some really interesting things in it. I, I think this is more when they did their papers to be used as scrapbook pages as well. Got, oh my god, look at this ink all over me. Um, let me get that off before I move. I, I had to write down the colors and I guess the pen I used exploded. Um, so I wanted to kind of use this as a dialogue to my or diary to myself when I look through these papers later what I was dealing with because what I have here I have two and some partials of these ones with these banner kind of stripes. And the back is a really pretty tone on tone. Um, like, it's kind of like a circular pattern. There's some of it on this side and then back is all that side. So I have this that's part of it. And I do have some more parts. Um, and then I've got, ooh, it's like three pages with a, like a tone on tone. There's actually like a, it almost looks like a pink or something in there. And then there's a, uh, try to hold them steady so you can kind of see. So I got three sheets of those at least. And they wind up with more, we'll see. Um, oh my, I have one, two. Here's another one of that last one I just had. Um, so there's four sheets of that. Then there is, so it looks like whoever had this before me must have decided to just use pieces and parts of it. There's four with these, kind of like, it almost looks like um, designs you'd see like in some of those like wrought iron, like sheets that they put over, um, God, I'm gonna really date myself. I remember like they had like covers over the radiator heaters in schools and stuff. And they used to have that like pierced sheet of metal kind of thing. It kind of looks like that pattern to me. This is a kind of cool like tile print. So there's four of those. Um, like I said, I'm sorry if this is not your cup of tea. I'm kind of dissecting as we go. I just, I'm challenging myself to use this up, using a card sketch. And like I said, getting rid of it. Um, thought about trying to sell the paper on the, Facebook Marketplace, and I said, you know what? Make some card kits, make some cards, I get better stuff out of it. These look like almost like a chrysanthemum or something, like flower. And then the back has like, again, like this tile print. So I have one, two, three sheets of that. Then there is um, a sheet and a almost full sheet of this one, which looks like it matches the one I had um, in the orange. That's this like, this looks like a flower, but it's not. And then there's circles again. So that's in the old olive color. Then I have half a sheet of this one, which is multicolor. So that is cool. I may see if I can just, um, and that's a tone on tone, which I've got some of the other tone on tone in there. So I'm definitely going to want to make the best use of this. Um, so I want to find a sketch where I can use this piece in a small section on the front. This I honestly think is, is in there, but I think it came out of, if you look, there's 
words on it real faint. I think this was one of their um, paper packs for um, where they had it like like all the subtles, all the regals. And I have a feeling this was in one of those because this looks familiar to me with it being like that tone on tone and that, that, that words like that. So I don't think that was part of the paper pack, but it does match the color so I can try and mix it in. And then I have these partials that were, um, again, part of, so if I took all these little partial pieces, it's almost like having another full um, piece. <coughs> Excuse me, so I have just that, so that would have been one, two, three, four, five, six combination prints. So if they still did what they used to do, um, where you get six different prints or 12 different prints on six different combination of sheets, I, I pretty much have, this is what it would have been. So I'm going to see if I can find two card sketches to use this paper up. What I'd like to do is, um, like I said, highlight this paper and I love the floral, um, in this strip. So I feel like if I can make use of highlighting this and this in two different sketches and use up all this paper, like I said, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this so I can offer up some kits as well. And, um, cause I, I need, I, I need to get through faster. I'm, I'm getting bogged down where, um, I just finished a card sketch for the November, no, it wasn't November. It was May of 2022's card sketch. Um, and I was trying to use up these six by six paper packs I have. And you can look for that video, but I have been bogged down for that for over a week and I have a hundred cards and I have two more packs. So I would come out with that one for 300. So I need to find a way that I can get through this quickly, blow out as much as I can and move on. So that is my mission. I will be back once I can zero in on the card sketches I'm going to use and what papers and how I'm going to um, lay these out. So I'll be back. It's Kristen again and it's the second day that I'm into this paper pack and I did complete this card. I'm going to do a second video on how to instructions for this because I am preparing this to sell. Um, I'm hoping to finish between Today is Saturday and tomorrow is Mother's Day. So between the two days this weekend, I want to finish as much of this paper pack as I can and then put some kits together and I will be selling them probably in a Facebook group. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any kind of links in this because of, um, again, I don't know that you can really do that off of Facebook. I don't know. I'd have to research if YouTube or Facebook is going to allow that. But I will give you, when I do have this, I will give you the instructions, at least with the Facebook group is, so you can join if you want to. But I was really kind of happy how this came out. And then I was preparing the rest of the paper in this um, um, paper pack. And I, I, why I have this to show you is I did use a sketch for this. Um, I'm a little bit ill-prepared because I, I just got back from looking in my stash. Um and I'll explain what that is in a second. Now, I don't have the sketch right here. I will bring um, an update on this card when I come back. I wanted to update though, because as I was going through and starting to try and match up papers that I wanted to use, um, I looked at this print and this is one of the ones that's in a 12 by 12. And I'm like, I know I have more of that because I was making these pumpkins that you use. You take ovals and you fold them and give them Three dimensional. I can make a video on them at some point. They're they're very simple and they're really cute. But I'm thinking like, oh, I know I had more. So I go through my stash and I wind up finding I have three more pieces of pa of this paper here um, that has this bigger. And I've decided that I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this batter piece. I really liked how the two um, complemented each other together. And I decided I was going to do it in this um, card sketch. And it's card ctv-blogspot.com, if I can read it. It's very small. 
So I started dissecting. This is how I'm going to do this card, and I'll, I'll come back when I have that done. But I was, like I said, looking for, I thought I had more 12 by 12 sheets of this one. And, no, it's not on the back. I don't, but I found those other three sheets and two more of this, which is, excites me because um, that means I can get more of this card out of it. I have a lot of this paper here. So the only thing that's limiting to me in this card is I am using some old discontinued um, base here in the back that's the more mustard colored color cardstock from um, Stampin' Up. So I have to make sure I'm gonna have enough of that. And then um, this one here was the limiting piece because I had quite a few sheets of this one. So, and I actually cut too many of these ones previous. So I have five more sets of this one already cut. So that's gonna give me um, what I'm able to get out of, ooh, each one of these was, um, I was able to get 10 cards out of one of these strips. So I'm gonna be able to get quite a few more kits now from that. And I'm gonna have more of this pattern, which I really, like I said, loved. So I'm gonna, just because I found in my stash, I went through them, like I said, they were, the original pack I brought you still had the saran wrap on it, if you saw in the beginning of the movie. This was loose sheets I bought, got how, I have no idea. I have a pile of just uh, loose um, printed papers that I'm looking, I was gonna do a sale and just try to get rid of them. And now I'm going back through that pile and finding more that belong to this pattern. So amazing, amazing what we have in our stash when we go back. Um, yeah, it's quite something. Uh, I bet we all can attest to having stuff like that that we don't even recollect that we owned. Um, so yes. So now I'm going to shut this video off and go make more of the kits for this one and then start prepping. Um, for this one so I can come back and show you the card on that. And I will go through what I used in this video. And like I said, I'll go through a second. I'm gonna create, a, this video is gonna just be smashing the stash. It's going to be, how many can I get out of here? I'll show you the sketches, I'll show you what I used. I'm going to prepare kits for these because again, I, I can't get through this many of them and do the videos that I wanna do in a week. So I'm gonna sell some kits. I'm not gonna have a um, sentiment on here. I did the Happy Mother's Day because tomorrow's Mother's Day and I wanna use this for my mother. I was really happy how this came out. Um, so I'm gonna sell the kits without a sentiment. And for the people that do buy the kit, I wanna have a how-to video. Um, so I will be putting each card together individually. So that will be a separate video. This video I'm intending to just keep with a what products I'm using and how you can smash a, a stash, how you can use up. I'm not gonna have a full paper pack, but by the time I'm done, as you can see, I'm, I'm having more printed paper in this collection than I expected. And it's more than the, the original 12 sheets, but they're just not in the original 12 sheets of how the manufacturer sold them, unfortunately. So let me go do my magic of cutting and I will be back.